Now, Trudy is here to tell us what spring will smell like in terms of the latest scent on the market. Morning, Trudy. Morning. So not obviously what spring smells like outside because it smells like hay fever, essentially. <laughs> For a lot of people, it does. Yeah. So what's trending in fragrance? Look, it's a real great departure from those fruity florals that we had last year. It's woody and... I think with those woody notes, those mossy and vetiver and those sorts of notes, comes this real moment of fragrance going back to being unisex because a lot of men's fragrance is woody. You know? I love a good unisex I do fragrance. too. I do too. And there is a movement towards that. Um, so woody notes, um, moss, vetiver, bergamot, citrus, sandalwood, musk, you know, those beautiful mm. notes that actually you can wear and your guy. I really like the sound of that. So what about the ingredients that are really exciting you? Again, I think it's woody. It's green um, and fresh, which I really like. And also the collision of those green woody notes with more softer notes like the lavender and the rose, you know. So you get a fragrance that's quite unique mm. and smells quite unique on you as it would on somebody else. So you are going to talk us through the new fragrance for spring. I am. And also hopefully match with the style. I'm going to try. Look, it's very difficult to buy fragrance for somebody else. As yeah, you probably, very difficult. You Tried. Yeah. But I mean, there's definitely um, a mood with fragrance that you can sort of say to people when they when they ask you, look, what sort of personality are you with mm. fashion? And I think that's a great way to mix it. So if you're quite a bold fashion wearer, you tend to go for a more bolder fragrance. Okay, so so should we sort of kick off? Yes, yeah, so I'll say give it a go. I'm sporty. You are. I was going to start with sporty because you are. So what would you give me? Look, I think anything that's fresh and green with citrus, and there's a lot of that around this season. So the first one is from an Italian soap making company called Nesta Dante, mm -hmm. and this is Limonum um, Zagara number Ooh. five, their version of number five, lemon. Crisp, beautiful orange blossom, fresh. I mean, this is just the most exquisite for soap. So you reckon this is the one that's going to suit me the most? I think this I'll and another one. one. Okay. I've got a couple of options. Okay, I've got another <clears> round for that. That's fine. So lemon, citrus, light. It's a cologne. Oh. Oh. It's divine. This family have been making soap for years and years and years. And they've now made these beautiful bespoke fragrances, which are all about nature and family, which is lovely. Because most fragrance has a great story behind it. Does. It does. I really, that's really nice. Yep, it's, that's it beautiful. It smells a little bit like lemon shallow taste. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And it's for summer, you know, fresh yeah. and green. Um, the next Yum. one, they never fail to impress. Jo Malone have got Honeysuckle and Davina, which is a green plant. It's like walking through an English country garden, apparently. Okay. A unisex fragrance, so boys and girls could wear this. Mm. It's got the sweetness of Honeysuckle, but the green sharp notes of That's this, nice. this plant called Davina. There's sea sage and uh, wood, 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 no, wood, wood, wood sage, sage and sea, sea salt. salt. It's one of yeah. my favourites. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Mm. Um, and then, you know, you know, we get move more into um, what is actually fresh and green, but what I would say if you are in a corporate environment, okay. and you can't go too bold when you're in a corporate environment because you work for all sorts of people, but these fragrances would help you survive the drudgery of working in a corporate <laughs> environment. So this is like the sort of more classic? Yeah, that's sort of classic but fresh. The Shop Hard have launched two fragrances, a family of fragrances called Lemon Dolce and um, Felicia Roses, mm -hmm. and they're all about happiness and joy. What? Which is what we all need in a in a day. So a burst of lemon, sporty mm. again. That one would suit you. Should I go on this one? Yeah, go on. Okay, mix them up. I'm gonna smell so good for you the rest are. of the day. Um, again, that beautiful mm, lemon nice vibe, and then the other one is bursting with fresh roses. It's very pretty. So you know, if you're wanting to just wear something that's fresh and light and beautiful, but also fills you with happiness. Jeans and a tea and a white t-shirt. Yeah, which is what fragrance was supposed to do. Well, let's go a bit bold and colourful. Let's go a bit then. bolder. Um, Narciso Rodriguez, American designer, has launched his fourth version of Narciso Rouge. This is huge, bold, full. Um, this one is full of um, rose, amber, tonka bean, vetiver, cedar and musk. So again, you might need to stop spraying. So. I, need to, I need to work on <laughs> my technique tonight. You do. Um, and this one is for that bold, that bold fashion woman, you know, who likes colour, who feels, you know, that she can pull anything off a new style. Beautiful red bottle too. I it's a really lovely bottle. Um, and let's talk about a classic. This is a beautiful story. Givenchy have reimagined Lentudi, which is the original that he made for Audrey Hepburn. Ooh. The face of this one is Rooney Mara. Um, and this is exquisite, a classic. If you love citrus and floral blend, this is tuberose, jasmine and citrus, orange blossom, 
it's absolutely divine and it's going to be a smash hit this okay, spring. I'm spraying this one over here now. Yeah, because this is like the reimagined original. It, um, Lentity actually means not allowed, which is what Audrey Hepburn said to Givenchy when he said, can I actually share your fragrance with the world? And she said, you're forbidden. So really? it's quite a nice story oh, behind that one. Audrey Hepburn. Um, sharing caring there. Exactly. I mean. And another smash hit on counters today is Dior. Now they actually purchased Jean Patou's company, his famous fragrance, Joy, and um, they've launched a new joy, which the the beauty industry and the fashion industry mm. have gone. Oh, shock horror! Jennifer Lawrence has been advertising. Yes, she? she has. Mm. She's behind that brand. That one, um, beautiful, very sweet, magnetic top, very young. We just like have a look at that. See, it goes in. Whoo! Um, <laughs> Small things. Mandarin <laughs> blossom again. That zesty bergamot that I was talking about with the bit of wood. Jasmine and Sandalwood. Very, this very millennial focus, so very young. If you're looking for something for your daughter, she will absolutely adore that. The fact that it's Dior will help. Um, and I think we're done. I think that's it all. We have. So very, very, very quickly, what's your best fragrance tip? Um, put on a non-scented body lotion first and then spray the fragrance on your skin because dry skin doesn't hold fragrance like hydrated, moisturised skin. So if your skin's really well moisturised, your fragrance will last longer. Excellent advice. And you need that for spring, summer, because you your do. skin gets a bit dry. Trudy, thank you so much. Oh, pleasure. I smell amazing. And for more great beauty know-how, you can check out Trudy's website, beautyeq.co.nz.